Monogamy is natural. Adultery is natural too. Neither are part of the supernatural. But I don't, I don't think people really understand monogamy. Mono means one, and gammy means spouse, one spouse. Polygyny, poly means many, gyne means women, many women. We are an animal that forms pair bonds. We are basically monogamous, monogamous. We're also adulterous. I think we've evolved what I call a dual human reproductive strategy, a tremendous drive to fall in love and pair up and rear our children as a team of two, and a predisposition, some people, of restlessness, an inclin inclination uh, to be adulterous. And we tend to uh, be an animal that, uh, a creature that uh, forms a pair bond for a period of time, breaks that pair bond, and forms a new pair bond. Serial monogamy and clandestine adultery. So when did monogamy evolve? I think it evolved over 4.4 million years ago when our ancestors were coming down out of the trees. 97% of mammals do not pair up to rear their young. Elephants couldn't be bothered, giraffes couldn't be bothered, gorillas uh, form a harem. People form pair bonds. Everywhere in the world, the vast majority of people have one partner at a time. Even in societies where a man can have a harem, polygyny, only about 5 to 10% of men actually get enough cows or goats or money or education or uh, some other sort of status to win a group of women. A woman will not be the second wife of a poor man, only if the perquisites outweigh the costs. I think human pair bonding evolved millions of years ago along with this brain circuitry for romantic love and for deep attachment to a partner. I think it evolved for an ecological reason. Our ancestors were forced down from the trees by eight, seven, six million years ago. They had to begin to walk on two legs over very dangerous open grasslands and at that point they began to stand up on two feet instead of four to carry weapons and to carry tools and to carry food back to a place where they could eat unmolested by predators. And with the beginning of walking on two legs instead of four, females began to carry their, have to carry their babies in their arms instead of on their backs. And if I were to give every woman in the world a 20-pound bowling ball to carry around for the next four years and also try to carry sticks and stones and collect fruit and vegetables and run from, from uh, lions, etc., they too would look around for a mate. So by four million years ago, in order to survive, females began to need to form a pair bond at least long enough to help raise a child through infancy. Males, I don't see how in these open grasslands a male could have really protected a harem of females, not only from wild animals, but from other males. So pair bonding became essential to females and suitable to males and humanity went over what I call the monogamy threshold and we began to evolve this drive to fall in love and form a pair bond and rear our children as a team, a hallmark of the human animal today.